the headstock parts have been uh, <coughs> cleaned, media blasted, and repainted. Turned out pretty good, I think. Now we're just waiting for some parts to come. We're going to start putting some of it back together, but I've got to wait for a few parts from Shopsmith to finish it up. pry it off so uh, I thought I'd just go ahead and replace it the uh, lady that I bought the shopsmith from contacted me a few days ago and she found another box of parts for it so I went and caught picked those up um, some of those I've already purchased but uh, it's still nice but some of them I haven't and it's still nice to have the original parts so I really appreciate that and talked to her a little bit and found out her husband's name was Matt so from now on this will be known as Matt's uh, Shopsmith 1961 uh, Shopsmith Mark V 500 all right uh, been waiting on a few parts to finish this up and uh, I've got all of those, so we're going to start reassembling this. The only thing I've got to do is on the new motor, I took it apart, cleaned it up. Uh, one of the bearings was uh, a little sketchy, so I went out and pressed those off, and when I was doing that yesterday, I messed up one of the snap rings, and of course, all my snap ring tools were in here, so I had to, had to come back in and uh, put the new snap ring on um, Later this morning. I'll go out and press the new bearings on and come back and we're finished putting the the motor together But in the meantime, I can start uh, Reassembling some of this stuff. So that's what we're going to do next I put the um, speed control back together and I did the uh, um, Modification removing the roll pin I ended up using a uh, six millimeter or M6 screw. I had to drill out the uh, um, quadrant a little bit. Apparently the holes in the arms here were um, wore out a little bit. So uh, by using the M6 bolt, and then some star washer locking washers on each end uh, now it rotates fairly easily it's centered on top of the uh now yeah, i've got it locked in place here somehow okay there we go it's centered on top of the the, the two gears are centered so that should make that last a long time and I did the adjustment uh, uh, on the fast stop, so, or preliminary adjustment anyway. So, we can get that put back together. Um, I'll start assembling um, the headstock. I somehow misplaced the sheave, uh, the fan sheave spacer, so I'm probably going to just make a new one uh, so I got to do that yet and get the motor put back together but let's start putting the headstock back together okay first thing we're going to do is put the drive sleeve assembly back in and then we have to make sure we get the uh, poly V belt on there so I am going to and just so if I haven't explained it before I I am going to a dual bearing uh, quill so I've got the new uh, This component and I also have uh, The matching um, Poly V idler shaft so Let's see if we can get this to gently tap in without any problems. 
This I know I should have a brass hammer. straight. Okay, I just gotta get this down to where I can put the ring back, the holder ring back in. Okay. Leave that in there. That's done. No. This is the bearing eccentric. They call it bushing. It came with this idler shaft. That would go in there like that. There we go. Okay, I put that screw back in. Let's see if I can get that belt line back up.
Now that screw keeps the bearing from going out. There's another screw that's up there. that keeps the eccentric from spinning and also you turn that eccentric to keep the tension right And then I've got my nut there. It goes in here. That clamps that down. From what I've read, you got to be very careful that you don't uh, over tighten that and snap those off. So I'll just go ahead, put that in now. I won't tighten it up yet. Because I need to adjust that a little bit. Now if you notice, I got the first three grooves um, showing. All right, we're putting the motor back together. Somehow, I lost the fan sheave spacer. This is a one off the three quarter inch motor. But anyway, I went out when I did the bearings, I had to leave them out there overnight because I needed my uh, um, eh, can't find them. But anyway, to remove the C clip, uh, to replace the C clip or E clip, whatever you want to call it. And when I went back out, it was gone. I'm blaming the mice. But anyway, I went and got a split spacer and uh, cut it off to the correct length, depth, however you want to call it. Uh, I uh, took the grinder and ground that down a little bit so I could squeeze it a little tighter. and It's on there pretty good and it's got the right gap. So we are going to... We're going to go and put the motor back together here real quick. Yes, I'm doing this on the floor in my office slash garage. All my uh, workmates and everything are being used right now on other projects. So, drop that in there. Find the little notch. There it is. See if I can line this up to where it was. What I probably did is cleaned it up too well. So now my notches or my markings were gone. Oh, there it is. What's left of it? So we'll go ahead and. Put that down. Then I've got my back plate. This little spring doohickey. And that will go on 
here uh, the I took it apart I put a red mark on the capacitor so I got it hooked back up correctly that snaps in here I've got that that goes in there hmm That's probably why there was grease in there to hold that into place earlier. So I got three wires that come up. And I gotta find Okay, after fiddling around with it for a little while, I got all the everything lined up and put back together, hooked it up, ran as smooth as can be. Went ahead and put the spring and the other part of the sheave on. So uh, I got a new set of screw stainless steel screws to mount this in.
Use a good a vibration washer with it. It appears to go on like that. Now the original ones didn't. You just had a wash. I've got to go out yet and get a cord uh, stop or whatever for the thicker cord that I'm putting a 12 gauge cord on it. Okay, that is mounted in there at least temporarily. I may have to uh, take it out when I go to put the cord in. But we've made progress. Finally, it's time to put the quill feed back in. Don't like a little bit of a Ridge on that. So I'm just gonna take the jeweler's file, take the sharpness off of it. That goes in there like, actually, goes in there like that. And what do I do with that one washer? This washer. Goes down there like. that let's see if you can see that hopefully you can Much better. Okay.
Okay, your index mark is right here, so that needs to be up at the top. And it says slip the spring washer and wing nut onto the other end of the quill feed shaft and slightly snug up. That's this side. Spring washer, I would assume. Is that? looks like I'm missing some kind of washer which everything should be in here if I took off here so it appears this was missing a washer because that would go on like that but there should be a washer behind the serrated washer. And I don't seem to have that. I will go look and come back. All right, we're back at it. Now, the way this goes, there's a... Washer here, I had to go out and make one. It didn't have it. Must got lost along the way. Then there's the serrated washer that goes in here. And then this goes here. Um, on that, there's a tang there that goes on the outside of there. Lines up with zero. And then you, ha you have another serrated washer. And then the lock control goes on there. Now, in here, I've got this lined up with the set screw here. So, at this point, I'll replace that. Tighten that down. Snug that up. So we're good there. Don't really like the gap there, but with that washer in there. Put that on. So either side. So 
over. Screw that. Loosen both wing nuts. And it says turn this one and a half turns. So it'll be one. And then you're supposed to quill uh, position this. I have waxed this. So you're supposed to put this in here. There we go. Okay, so we got that. So now, if you watch the other part of this, I had to strip that out, heat it up, and use a, a easy out on that so I ordered a new one the main reason I didn't go stainless steel on this is um, it has kind of a different it goes down in that groove so you gotta tighten this down until it hits the bottom of the groove and then you back it up an eighth of a turn and it's also got some glue on there to keep it from they say they're nylon, but it looks to me like they just put too tight still. Well, that's in there. I do believe I need to tighten that spring up a little bit more, but we'll deal with that later. I may need a little bit more lube on that. All right. So then we move on to the speed control. Okay, now we're put the speed control back in. I've got the beveled side of the gear down. Apparently, some don't do it that way and some do. But anyway, um, I've sort of adjusted the stop, high speed stop. This kind of goes in like this. So the spring goes like that, and they say to make sure that you don't start new threads on those.
more carefully. Spring goes in like that. Then you put this on. And then you put this in. Maybe third time would be the charm. Okay, it says I'm supposed to set that speed control to a high speed stop. Okay. Now I'm supposed to clip that ring on the inside. See if you can see this. There we go. I'm going to put a couple drops of three and one oil in there right now before I forget. I put the dial back on. Make sure I get
Okay, where's the set screw? There it is. That uses a much smaller set screw. Which I need to get the dust out of it. Yeah, a set screw could hold a little set screw like this could hold so much dust in it. Yeah, what do I do with it? Three thirty seconds. Okay. Now the big thing I want to do here is I want to make sure that I get it in that dimple so it doesn't screw it up like the old one because I had a heck of a time getting that dial off I was afraid I was going to break it so hmm. I need to, let me try it about there All right, I think I got it in the dimple. So there's that. We get to put the carriage lock. Oh boy. So, here's how I'm doing it. I'm going to screw them both in all the way to the center.
Okay, I got my roll pin lined up. Up that. Okay. So that's back in. All right, got the new motor uh, mounted in the pan, the wiring done. Um, which I found interesting because when I took it apart, uh these were reversed so that means neutral was being switched because on this side of the switch it's just you know clear through there's no on or off on this side but on this side it switches and that's usually the hot side so somebody put that back together wrong now I'm about ready to mount it back in. I did finally get the Shopsmith speed dial all set up. Uh, I should have taken a picture of it first, but where that uh, um, where the uh, hang on. Where that comes through there that dial there's the spot for the lock wash the locking the e-clip or snap clip whatever um, and then there's when I look in the manual that I purchased from Shopsmith which I've already got a coffee stain on uh, it showed a spring washer another washer and then the clip well, I could not find the other washer. I finally realized I had the spring washer. I thought it, I, I had the regular washer, but it was the spring washer. And there was no way that was going to fit in there uh, the thick with the thickness of it all. So then I went back and looked at an old manual that I got off of the forum for the 500. And it only showed the spring washer and the lock washer. So that's the way it is. Um, I've got my preliminary uh, fast stop set, and so I am going to uh, try to gracefully put this all back together. So I need to, let me see, I dropped one of the clips off here. to try to get this in need to make sure the belt is around this top sheave and I think the only way I could do that I think it needs to be
in the first. And we set this like Well, if I'm going to want to do stainless steel on these back ones, I'm going to have to go get something different. Even the original one there is stripped out a little bit. The life of me, I can't figure out why these two back here won't grab in that. Right now I'll put these on or deal with that later. Wasted too much time on that. Okay, let's see if we can get the switch in without too much of a problem. 